Tally's Kim Jackson went looking for answers about how staffing issues keep happening, forcing schools to close. Kim. Well, Mark, this is about the third school that's now the third Tulsa school that's had to close because of staffing. We're now just getting into the third week of school and people are really frustrated. Webster opened up briefly to hand out meals and homework for students like two siblings walking together with mixed emotions. Confused, I suppose, but also, um, I mean, if the numbers keep going up, I'd rather I'd rather them do what needs to be done for us to be safe. A high school senior, Kyle says COVID makes in-school learning harder. Not very safe, to be honest. Um, many kids are openly anti-vax. Many kids do not like to wear their masks, so. So today you feel relieved maybe that they made the call? Yeah, rather relieved, honestly. It's frustration for Marquetta Williams with her two daughters home now, one from COVID exposure and the other because of staffing issues. They ain't telling us nothing. All they just saying is that low teacher absence, we don't know if it's due to COVID or anything. Tulsa Public School says a shortage of staff forced them to suspend in-person learning for some buildings. But State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister says it is happening everywhere. Sadly, when a bus driver or multiple bus drivers uh, or multiple cafeteria workers are ill or cannot be in school, schools have to suddenly close if there aren't people to take their place. She says schools are trying to stay open and sometimes it's a last minute decision to close. What do you think they should do better? What can they just, do better? Just, just close it because they're not ready. They, they, they're not ready. It, they need to just go to uh, distant learning. All right, so right now schools are not ready to go all the way to distance learning. In fact, Webster and TPS has just announced they will have school here tomorrow. And if you're at home and you're thinking, how can I help? You can help by becoming a substitute teacher. Live in West Tulsa, Kim Jackson, News Channel 8.